Okay, so here we are. Um, another video time. Um, this time hopefully I've got the lighting right in front of me. Um, it's certainly a bit brighter in here uh, with the portable lights working. Um, I got a bag this morning um, from China and uh, I thought I'd have a look at it and uh, it's actually a what is it in Chinese but it says here it's a laser harp um, now I've seen several of these kits in uh, in the Chinese websites both on Banggood and on um, AliExpress and I thought to myself looks interesting some have been a horrendous price but they've been a lot larger um, this one was very very cheap um, you know so cheap in fact they've marked it down as two US dollars um, I know it costs a little bit more than that but um, yeah so I thought I'd do this kit build and uh, see just how well the cheaper end of the uh, the kit market works and um, hopefully this will be an enjoyable little kit to build let's go over to the other camera that one there and uh, we'll take the photography uh, of me building the kit um, I might do it in fast uh, fast speed just so that uh, you don't get bored depending on how complex it is and uh, however else it looks and all the usual things with video so stay tuned and uh, hopefully I won't give too much of a boring running commentary see you soon okay so um, here we are with the kit spread out all over the mat um, looking at this it, it's, it's a, a fairly simple build um, what we seem to have is a set of light dependent resistors um, three, six, seven uh, laser diodes uh, seven clear LEDs, three red LEDs uh, a transistor and a rather sorry for itself looking microcontroller with um, what one is it? Uh, it's had half the number destroyed STC 89C something RC where they've uh, managed to take off the numbering so that one's got a few bent pins which I'll have to straighten um, and I've got to say this is the first kit that I've ever had that comes with a glue stick um, which is uh, very unusual um, I don't quite know how they expect you to use the just a glue stick if you are just buying this kit off the top of uh, off the top of the adverts and saying oh I'd like that um, but there we go um, also you get a sheet of instructions now I know I've got the camera zoomed quite well in um, but again all in Chinese um, oh, what is it it says the controller is an STC 89C52 um, pre-programmed and pretty much the way it works is that the the lasers bounce onto the uh, light sensitive diodes and as you interrupt the beams um, it plays different notes um, there's there's not really a lot to it. it 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 looks more complicated than it is and um, looking at this they that the little black pieces of heat shrink are there to um, make the the laser diode or the lighter light sensitive diodes um, just look if I just wedge that on there upwards at the individual laser rather than receiving light from everywhere so it, it acts more like a waveguide um, so yep I can understand that bit and how it works now these legs on these components do not look shiny and new they look like they have had a a bit of a storage life um, there looks to be a bit of corrosion on them but uh, I've worked on older I've worked on worse so um, 
can't really complain. So, uh, what can I do? Uh, at this point, I think what I will do is I will probably start by assembling this board. Um, and once that's all done, then I might get started on uh, gluing the laser diodes in with hot glue um, on the top PCB, which then connects to the two side struts. So, yeah, this is where the major part of the work is um, on this bottom section here. Uh, and then, then you get onto the top section, and that's when you power it up and line everything up and make sure everything sits nicely so um, yeah without any more yabbering and squawking from me um, let's just put it together and uh, see what we've got so here we go
Okay, so the assembly is actually done and it's try I'm trying to now set it up so that the lasers are actually pointing into the tubes. As you can see it can be quite fiddly. So, yeah, I'll be back once I've managed to get these all aimed and stable and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, um, <laughs> I've been playing for quite a while now um, and just trying to get these things to line up. So, yes, I think the technique is to use hot glue, do one at a time and... You know, basically wait till it's set and in position before you even try the next one. I've used the elephant's knot and uh, and it works. And this button here changes the octaves. already moved out but as you see the the white LEDs follow your finger I'm no musical genius, but uh, there we go. You can see the uh, the the laser dots on your fingers. And yeah, there you go. As a simple little kit, it's a bit of fun. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully uh, you've, you've had fun watching me try and get this thing working um, and you'll watch some more of my videos. Take care and uh, I wish you all the best and please subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Um, leave a comment anyway, tell me if you don't like what I'm doing. Um, leave a comment if you do like what I'm doing. But uh, either way, I will try and get back to you. and. Um, Hopefully I can make more videos that uh, more people want to watch. Thanks very much for watching this one. Bye bye for now.